Good Thursday evening and welcome to the NCW Life Evening News. I'm Grant Olson. Before we get to today's top news stories, let's take a quick look outside our weather window and what an improvement. The sun returned to north central Washington and here to the Wenatchee Valley. This looking down, I think from our cross camera uh, at the Wenatchee Valley, beautiful shot. Just still some clouds around in the Cascades, but for the most part, the fog did finally lift and that allowed our temperatures to climb about to where we should be for this time of year after being in the low 30s throughout the first part of this week. And we have some changes though moving our way by tonight, a rainstorm moving in and that could make for a little bit of a tricky commute for your Friday morning. Notice the areas in green and blue, the blue especially uh, worrisome where we could see some slick roadways and some ice. Wenatchee, as you can see, still in the green. So we could be seeing some light rain showers in the morning, but with temperatures hovering just above the freezing mark, be extra careful as you make that commute tomorrow morning. Much more on your weather forecast, including how our weekend will shape up coming up a little bit later on. And now a few of the stories we're following for you tonight. The Wenatchee School Board decided this week to involve the public more in its search for a new superintendent. The Grant County Sheriff's Office is offering a $1,500 reward for the return of a patrol rifle stolen from a deputy's patrol vehicle parked outside of Moses Lake home. And Washington State elections officials report there was no increase in voter turnout resulting from the state's experiment with prepaid mail-in ballots. But first, we begin tonight. Longtime Wenatchee School Board Director Dr. Walter Newman announced his resignation from the board on Wednesday afternoon. Newman's resignation is effective immediately. Newman has served on the board for 11 years. His resignation leaves board position number two vacant. The board will appoint an interim director to replace him. The appointed director will fulfill Newman's remaining term, which will be up in November of 2019. The board will acknowledge and announce the resignation at the next regularly scheduled meeting coming up on Tuesday, November 27th. Meanwhile, the Wenatchee School Board this week decided to involve the public more in its search for a new superintendent. The board, acting on the advice of its hiring consultant, had initially planned a closed search. The thought was that candidates involved, uh, employed elsewhere might be reluctant to have their applications be part of a public process. But Diana, Diana Hagland, Communications Director for the District, said a survey on what people wanted in a new superintendent indicated high public interest, so the consultant suggested an open process. She said they will expect quality candidates for the job. How the public will be involved exactly will be determined at future meetings. Current Superintendent Brian Flonis is retiring next summer after 19 years on that job. Well, the Grant County Sheriff's Office is offering a $1,500 reward for the return of a patrol rifle stolen from a deputy's patrol vehicle parked outside of Moses Lake home. That was on Wednesday morning. The AR-15 style rifle was locked in a security bracket, which the suspects or suspect were able to break into. Anyone who has information is asked to contact the Grant County Sheriff's Office. That number is 509-762-1160, or you can send info to crime tips at grantcountywa.gov. Tipsters can remain anonymous. The Moses Lake Police Department is managing that theft investigation. Well, Washington State election, of election officials report there was no increase in voter turnout resulting from the state's experiment with prepaid mail-in ballots. Every county except King County participated in the test, which cost the state about $1.2 million. Secretary of State Kim Wyman says the statewide turnout for the August primary was the same as in 2010. Chelan County Auditor Skip Moore says there was an increase in number of voters casting their ballots in the mail. Primary, we saw a shift. We didn't see a large turnout in the primary. It was kind of low. And we did see a shift away from drop box returns to mail returns, and that had to do with, obviously, with the prepaid postage. The general election, tremendous turnout, but we saw, again, a shift from people returning their ballots through the drop boxes to the mail. It used to be 65, 70% through drop boxes, 30% mail. Right now we're tracking right about 50-50 mail in drop boxes. Is that, and now if we look at our increased turnout of 74%, it's kind of hard to figure out if that was a result of the prepaid postage or if it was in fact just an, a national uh, 
interest in participating in this midterm election. That one we'll have to debate a while to figure out. I don't know that it actually resulted in higher returns on the prepaid postage side. I just saw a difference primarily in the shift on ballots being returned more in the mail than normal or in the past to the drop box. The statewide analysis showed that voter participation in the primary and trending in the general election improved in one-third of the counties but declined in the other two-thirds. Coming up next, the latest real estate snapshot shows active home listings in October in the Wenatchee area are at the highest number so far this year. Wednesday was new lettering day at the home of the new Wenatchee City Hall operations and we'll have our weekly kennel cameos feature with Megan McPherson. I'm Grant Olson and you're watching the NCW Life Evening News. The physical therapists at Cascade Medical love the outdoors as much as you do. But sometimes where there's love, there's also pain. Let us help you get back to the activities that you love. Cascade Medical, partners in your health. With 15,000 square feet to explore, you'll find something special at the Antique Mall at Kashmir. For the do-it-yourselfers and those with a keen eye for making something old, fresh and new again, the Antique Mall at Kashmir is the place to come find your next project. From the coin enthusiasts to avid collectors, Antique Mall at Kashmir has treasures in every corner. Come find your treasure today. Antique Mall at Kashmir's friendly staff is here to help. Stop on by today. Welcome back. In another news, the latest real estate snapshot from Pacific Appraisal & Associates shows active home listings in October in the Wenatchee area are at the highest number so far this year. The number of homes currently listed for sale in the Wenatchee market is 218. That's 28 percent higher than in October of 2017 at 158 active listings. Meanwhile, the sales of single-family homes continues along the same trend as the past several months, with both the median and average sales price of a home up 13 percent compared to the same time last year. Well, Wednesday was new lettering day at the home of the new Wenatchee City Hall operations. The words federal building and post office on the building have been replaced with Wenatchee City Hall. Local Tell purchased the federal building in a government auction last year and later sold most of it to the city for that new city hall. Mayor Frank Kuhn says the purchase of the new space took a lot of hard work and there's still work to be done. Oh, it feels great. You know, staff's been working really hard over the last six months or so to make this day happen. And we're moving into the third floor, temporary location for us. Uh, fun to see the new sign going up, though. And uh, so we'll be on the third floor. We'll have 20-plus employees up there in two weeks. Moving day is actually uh, this coming up Monday. The moving company shows up. We'll be in some really uh, rough transitions. You come to pay your utility bill. Normally at the old city hall, you might be up here. So hopefully the community will work with us, work with us a little bit, make sure that, you know, we're getting things done right. But we're excited to be up there and probably two or three years on the third floor and then eventually into the main floor. But that's still a long ways away. We're just doing preliminary design work at this point. But uh, the ultimate goal is to be in the main floor in maybe two to three years. Time now for our weekly Kennel Cameos feature from the Wenatchee Valley Humane Society. Today, NCW Life's Megan McPherson introduces us to Diana the Cat. Hey guys, Megan here with the NCW Life channel. We are here with Renee Parkins, the Development Officer of the Wenatchee Valley Humane Society. Today's 
animal is Diana the cat, but she is unfortunately under the weather. She has to rest. And Diana um, came to us. She was um, surrendered by our family. She was an indoor outdoor cat. She lived with other animals. She's just a love. She's very, very friendly. And she's just wants somebody to talk to and sit in their lap and be their friend. And Diane is free, right? She is. Um, thanks to Barry Automotive in Wenatchee, they donated um, adoption fees for several animals and we've decided to use them for this month during Adopt-A-Senior Pet Month. Diana is not a senior pet, but she is a little older and sometimes the older cats, you know, compared to the newer, shinier kitten models, will have a little bit harder time getting adopted and we just think Diana needs a good chance at a second home. So if somebody is um, interested in adopting Diana or any of her other animals, they can come down to the shelter. Um, they can have a meet and greet with that animal, figure out if they're going to be the best fit for their family, and then um, as long as they've been spin neutered, they can take them home. Diana can go home with somebody today. The Wenatchee Valley Humane Society is located at 1474 South Wenatchee Avenue and is open Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Saturday and Sunday from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Give them a call at 509-662-9577 or visit their website at wenatchehumane.org. Kennel Cameos is supported in part by Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory in Leavenworth. Not only does the Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory have great house-made fudge and super delicious candy and caramel apples, but they also have great doggy treats for your four-legged friends. Located at 636 Front Street in Leavenworth. This has been Kennel Cameos at the Wenatchee Valley Humane Society. You're watching the NCW Life Evening News. Coming up next, tonight's feature story and your complete local weather forecast. That and much more still to come on the NCW Life Evening News. Stay with us. Stormy Mountain Brewing and local public house featuring great family dining in downtown Chelan. We've got burgers, pub fare, and the best barbecue around. Try one of our award-winning sauces made fresh here in-house. So grab the whole gang and come on down. Stormy Mountain Brewing. Beer, barbecue, friends, and beer. Thanks to the help I received at Goodwill. I have a job. I'm looking now. Thanks to Goodwill. Thank you, 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 Goodwill. Goodwill's Employment Connection Center is a free walk-in job search assistance program designed to get you back to work. When you donate to or shop at Goodwill, you're really helping people find work. Thank you. Goodwill, there's more behind the store. I came here to CBCH because um, one of my friends referred me. When I met Dr. Jocelyn, she was just amazing. She connected with my son and it meant so much to me. He opens up so quickly because she just sits there and plays with him. It really is like going to see a friend. It's really great to walk into somewhere where you feel welcomed and you feel accepted and respected. It just feels like home. Welcome back to the NCW Life Evening News. How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying debuts tonight at the Wenatchee High School Auditorium. The award-winning musical comedy is set in the 1960s, is being performed by the high school's choral group and directed by Paul Atwood, who, along with his son Mason, who has the lead character, joined Dan Kuntz on today's Wake Up Wenatchee Valley program. When I saw that you're going to do how to succeed in business without really trying, it it is it it's a period piece. It takes it place in the early really 1960s. Is. But the original, and I'm only familiar with the movie, Paul. But there's drinking and smoking, and <laughs> and there's sexism galore. I mean, there's misogyny. How does a high school well, <laughs> group put this on? <laughs> we don't have much drinking or smoking. Okay, in this one. that's. But um, it does have the adult content where mm -hmm. where um, um, it was it was. The 60s and the secretaries and stuff, yeah. and now the, with the Me Too, you know, movement and stuff mm -hmm. like that, it's kind of an educational piece for these students to to see exactly what it was like back then, um, you know, the Mad Men era, right. or, you know, where what it was kind of like that back then, and how women were kind of treated mm -hmm. that way. Turns out, spoiler alert, guys are jerks. <laughs> 
There you go. Who knew? Mason, you, your character is, and explain him, please. Um, I am J. Pierpont Finch, and I'm the man who finds a book on how to succeed in business and decide to give it a try. You're a little bit of a con artist, isn't he, in, in yeah. a certain respect? Yeah. I he starts out as a window washer. Starts as a window uh, washer and finds, manipulate everyone else and oh, yeah. moves up to the big very, boss. Yep. And reach my way up. A little white line. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. And, um, yeah, some of the, I mean, even, you know, he claims that he was, went to the same school as his, the boss and <laughs> <laughs> tries to sing along the alma mater with him. And, mm -hmm. oh, God, it, it's just really cute, cute. And like I said, it's, it's just smart. It's a mm -hmm. smart show. And, um, and you know, and it's, and it's a show that high schoolers can do. Mm -hmm. I mean, on the off years, I do the district musical. Right. You know, and those are the ones we kind of you have to you're incorporating in second grade up to twelfth grade, sure. and you want to do something more like a Disney yeah. type so of show. So this wouldn't show. work for the all district music. No, 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 no. no, no. no. Well, there's no rule for kids anyway. You know? <laughs> oh no, so, no. And uh, so, but I think it's just great for uh, for high schoolers to do. I know that there's actually three or four productions that are going on in in uh, high school set settings right now. So it's it's becoming a popular musical again. How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying showings are November 15th through the 17th and November 29th and December 1st. Tickets are available at the door. Time now for a check of your North Central Washington weather forecast. But before we get into those details, let's take a look what's happening outside our weather window. And we're looking down at uh, a busy, bustling Wenatchee Valley this afternoon because the sun came out. Wasn't that nice today after three days in a row of fog and it was set in for us for three days. We did see the sun break through at about noon. That got people out and about on this beautiful day uh, this Thursday afternoon. 44 our high temperature today. Look at that, exactly where we should be for our high and our low temperatures. An interesting fact though, 32 degrees are low this morning. It was 17 hours of 32 degrees yesterday straight, which is very unusual. That inversion just kept those clouds here and kept that temperature steady at 32 degrees. 63, our record high. That was set back in 1998. 15, our record low in 1978. Still no new precipitation the past 24 hours. Our sun rose this morning at 7.06 and will set tonight, or this afternoon, I should say, at 425. Let's take a look at that surface loop now. We do have a cold front and storm system headed our way. Let's take you about 24 hours from midnight tonight until midnight on Friday. You can see the clouds beginning to move in, some of those rain showers as well. Friday really won't be as bad. Most of the activity will move off into Montana. That will allow a big dome of high pressure to build in over the northwest, and that will be our weather feature for about three days. It will be cool and maybe some fog in the morning on Saturday, or I should say in the afternoon and evening hours on Saturday, and that will make for a foggy start to your Sunday morning commute. A little bit cooler too as colder air funnels down into Washington underneath that ridge of high pressure. Our ridge will hold steady into Monday of next week. It will be cool though still. Temperatures just slightly below normal, but we will see plenty of sun on Monday before Tuesday. Things get a little muckier. We'll see some clouds begin to move in. Shower activity will also move in just off the coast of uh, Washington. We'll see increasing clouds for us here. It will remain on the cool side and then by overnight Tuesday into Wednesday and especially it looks like past that on Thanksgiving and past that Black Friday looks to be a wet one with possibly rain mixed with snow. Let's take a look now at your quick lube and tune forecast. Tonight, a much better scenario. 36 degrees for our overnight low. Tomorrow, we should climb to about 47 degrees for our high. Remember, a 30% chance of rain in the morning, so that morning commute could be a little slick for you. Keep, a, keep an eye on that tomorrow morning. 45 with some fog late on Saturday. Morning fog giving way to mostly sunny skies on Sunday, but not very warm. Sunday, 42. Monday, will stay on the cool side as well at 42 degrees. I think Wednesday we will see a big increase in clouds, warmer temperatures, highs by then at around 45 degrees. And that's a look at your local weather forecast coming up next. Tonight's sports report with Eric Granstrom and more as the NCW Life Evening News continues right after this. So Pam, how's your mom doing? She's okay. 
she's struggling. She'd like to stay in her house, and it's getting harder for her to do the daily chores. What kinds of problems is she having? Just basic house cleaning, you know, uh, taking care of her house, yard work, taking care of her medicine. Mm -hmm. It does sound exhausting. <laughs> it is very exhausting, and I always worry about her. Aging in adult care can assist you or your loved one to remain comfortably and safely in their own home. Contact them today to start the conversation. I'm Tom from Alpine Air Heating and Cooling. Just as the cool mornings and evenings are returning to our valley, Carrier and Alpine Air are offering best-in-class rebates and promotions to keep your home comfortable and safe this winter. Call for your free estimate today. Ask about rebates to $1,650 and low interest, low payment financing. Turn to the experts at Carrier and Alpine Air. Call 662-6846. Heat and Air, call Alpine Air. Are you watching me? If you're watching me and you are a business owner in North Central Washington, your potential customers could be seeing your TV commercial right now. With Solely on Broadcasting, TV advertising is effective and affordable. Place your ads on the network best suited to your potential customers or get top of mind awareness with 16 cable networks including NCW Life, your local TV channel. Give Solely on Broadcasting a call at 888-2020 today to see how easy and affordable it is to advertise on TV. And now, it's a sports update on the NCW Live channel. And a happy Thursday to you. The Wenatchee Wild won its fourth consecutive game on the road last night. They were in Merritt, knocked off the Centennials by a final of 3-2. Now, Merritt jumped out to an early 2-0 lead on goals in the first and second periods by Matthew Koprud. But Jacob Modry got things going for the Wild at the 426 mark of the second period. Let's pick it up right there with Art Checker on the call on the Wenatchee Wild Hockey Network, video courtesy of Hockey TV. So congratulations to the Wild. They'll ride their four-game winning streak into trail Friday and then finishes the road trip Saturday at Salmon Arm. Well, we know of two national letters of intent that were signed by local athletes yesterday. Wenatchee's standout soccer star Jaden Griggs is signed to attend Montana next year. Congrats to Jaden and best of luck at being a Grizzly. Also, Wenatchee Athletic Director Jim Beeson says that Skyler Walton has signed to run track and field at Washington State University. Good luck to Skyler. Now, if you know of anyone, any other local athletes who signed a national letter of intent, be sure and let us know via our Facebook page. Well, the Seahawks face the Green Bay Packers tonight at CenturyLink Field. Quarterback Aaron Rodgers is 6-2 in his career against Seattle, but has not defeated the Seahawks in Seattle since 2008. Seahawks defensive coordinator Ken Norton Jr. says his crew will have its hands full with Mr. Rogers. Anytime you keep an eye on the good quarterbacks and you study them, you watch them over the period of years, it's a combination of things. It's not one thing that makes a guy really good. It's a combination of that and then having the right people around them to, to receive the ball. So it's important that, A, uh, you understand who you're going against, uh, the things that he does well. And at the same time, that he's going to make some plays, and you have to try to minimize those plays. But he's, they call him uh, an NFL quarterback, and he's pretty good because of uh, the things that he does, and he's been able to do it for a long period of time. Now, defensively in back-to-back -back games, the Seahawks have allowed opponents to rush for 150 yards with an average of 7 yards per carry. In the Packers, Seattle faces another good running back in Aaron Jones. Norton says it's a challenge to face well-balanced teams. 
certainly concerning any time you give up that many yards of carry, but at the same time, you, we played some really pretty good offenses. Uh, those guys with the Chargers and, again, with uh, the Rams, you're talking about two really good quarterbacks and two really good runners, and they've been really good runners uh, for, uh, for a while. So um, you have to certainly – uh, you, you can't make mistakes. You have to tackle really well. You have to be really disciplined in your gaps. And you combine it. They just don't run the ball. They pass the ball as well. So this, it's a combination. You just don't get seven yards of carry just by just running the ball. You, you mix it up well. And uh, that's just part of what the good teams do. They're able to, able to have a good running game that which makes their passing game better. It is the 4-5 and five Seattle Seahawks, the 4-4-1 four, four and one Green Bay Packers tonight. Football on Thursday night on Fox. And uh, what they're talking about this game is basically wild card in the NFC. The winner of this game will stay alive. The loser of this game probably has no shot at the postseason, something Seattle does not want to happen. They want to defend the home field tonight at Century Lake. Uh, that game kicking off right now. We'll have results and we'll have some comments from the coach tomorrow morning on Wake Up Wenatchee Valley. That's Sports News. I'm Eric Grandstrom on the NCW Life Channel. Grant, back to you. Thank you, Eric. And we leave you tonight with some unbelievable video that our uh, Wake Up Wenatchee Valley producer, Caitlin Hedersheet, uh, snagged for us the last couple of days. It's a Badger Mountain, and it's a time-lapse video of the fog rolling over the mountain and into the Wenatchee Valley. And boy, we did see a lot of fog the last three days. Here is a look at that time-lapse shot now, and of course the sunrise as well happening in that shot. But that's a look at that layer of fog. We are down there underneath that layer, so above us the past three days has been absolutely beautiful. Mission Ridge with highs in the lower to mid 40s yesterday when we were at 32 all day. But look at that gorgeous sunrise from our Badger Mountain SkyFi Tower camera. Absolutely beautiful. And then the sun came out for us. But I do want to remind you once again, be careful for that morning commute tomorrow morning. We do expect some light rain showers to develop late tonight and overnight, even into some of our morning hours tomorrow. So be careful as you make that morning commute and look at that beautiful sunrise, the clouds above the Wenatchee Valley. And that's going to do it for our newscast tonight. For more on these stories and other news from around North Central Washington, you can find us on Facebook or our website at ncwlife.com. And remember, if you see news happening, we'd like to hear from you. You can send us an email at news at ncwlife.com or give us a call at 888-NCWL. That's 888-6295. Also, keep it right here on the NCW Life channel tomorrow morning for Wake Up Wenatchee Valley with your host, Dan Koontz. I'm Grant Olson. Thanks for joining us and have a great night. This is TV. This is TV Set Free. TV Everywhere from Localtel sets you free to watch what you want, where you want. Catch your favorite networks, including live TV, ready to watch on any web-connected device for no extra charge. That's TV Set Free. Enjoy the extra value Localtel delivers with TV Everywhere. Visit Localtel.net and sign up today. Hey there, Wenatchee. I'm Sean Lee, and I'm inviting you to check out the NCW Movie Guide to keep up on what movies are playing in our town. There's no substitute for the power of cable TV advertising. With solely on cable TV advertising, you can reach your target audience right here. Here in North Central Washington, we understand their viewing habits and can precisely target your customers on great cable networks like these. Call Solely on Broadcasting today and let us show you how to put your business message right in front of thousands of prospects at a very affordable price. Solely on Broadcasting, 509-888-2020. I am Dan Coos. This is Wake Up Wenatchee Valley. We got news, we got sports, we got weather, we got obscure holiday today in history, birthdays. Those actresses from the 70s that I had a huge crush on Lindsay Wagner, Jane Russell, Meryl Streep, Barbara Bush. Wanted to wish her a happy birthday and gave me an excuse to throw her picture up on my show. Exclusive distributors of Life Water, now available in the shatter proof plastic bottle. <laughs> Wake Up Wenatchee Valley, mornings at 7 o'clock on the NCW Live Channel. Hi, I'm
am JD Taylor from Elite Hoop Effects, and you are watching the NCW Life Channel.